Hi guys, so review for a season, so a season review for a team, we're at the Cubs, uh, we're in teams that almost made the playoff, um, very, very close here, so let's get into it, they finished the season 83 and 79, so they were tied in the second place, so basically they were third place uh, with the Cardinals, but Cardinals had a tiebreaker, um, in 2023 they had the same record, 83 wins, 79 loss, so they didn't really improve, but they, they do play very well. So at home, 44 wins, 37 loss. That's a really good record. 319 runs scored to 276 run against. Really great. On the road, though, 39 wins, 42 loss. Uh, the run score, uh, 417 to 393. So really good run score and run against. Uh, just can win those very close games here. Uh, March and April, they start the season 18 wins, 12 loss, really good season. Uh, but the May, uh, May and June was not really good. 10 wins, 18 loss in May, 11 and 16 in June, July, 13 wins, 12 loss. And then August, they played very great August, 18 wins, eight loss, but September, just a 500 of 13 and 13, um, against their division. 5-8 and eight against the Brewers, uh, so 42 runs scored to 51 run against. Against the Cardinals, 6 wins, 7 loss, 56 runs scored to 51 run against. Against the Reds, 5 wins, 8 loss, 47 runs scored to 52 run against. And then the Pirates, 7 wins, 6 loss, 87 runs scored to 66 run against. So against their division, they're 23 wins, 29 loss. It's not that great. They should be better than that against their division. Worse against other team, against the Braves, two wins, four loss. Against the Phillies, two wins, four loss. Against the Guardians, zero win, three loss. And against the Padres, two wins, four loss. Best against other team, against the Orioles, three, zero. Against the Astros, three, nothing. Against the Rockies, four, two. Against the Dodgers, four, two. Against the White Sox, 4-0. And, oh, and then against the Nationals, 6-1. and one. Uh, <clears throat> Top two starting pitcher, uh, Shota Oi Managa had a really good year. 15-3 and three record, 2.91 ERA with 174 strikeout. And then Jamison Taylon, 12-8 and eight record, 3.27 ERA with 125 strikeouts. So really good years there. Uh, win as a team. Uh, 83 win is 8 in the NL. Uh, ERA, 3.78. That is third in the NL. Innings of play, 1,432. That is 13 in the NL. Save, 38. Save, that is ninth in the NL. And then strikeout, 1,348 strikeouts. That is 10 in the NL out of 15 teams. So really, they, they need to do better as pitching here. Uh, top two batters, Ian Happ. Uh, 89 run, 138 hits, 25 home run, and 86 RBI. Uh, Nico Horner, 86 runs, 159 hits, 7 home runs, and 48 RBIs. As a team, run 736 runs, that is 7th in the NL. Uh, hits 1,318, that is 11th in the NL. Home run, uh, 170 that is 11 in the, of the, the NL. And then uh, stolen base, 143 stolen base. That is fifth in the NL. So not bad numbers. So they need to fix. So bad, they had a bad May and June. Uh, 21 wins and 34 loss in those two months. That is not great. That is probably why they didn't make the playoff. A little bit better in pitching because you are you got some like top 10, top 9. That's not good enough. Uh, better road record, uh, 39 wins, 42 loss. Uh, they lost those very close games. Uh, and then uh, better record against the division, uh, 23 wins and 29 loss is not good enough to get you in the playoff if you play that way against their divi divisional uh, rivals. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Cubs. Like and subscribe. Thank you for all your support, and I'll see you soon with more videos. See you guys.